Heavenly Father, you are my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep your words. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. As for the saints who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied who hastens after another god. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in shoal, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. The portion of Jacob is not like any other, for he is the maker of all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. You favor your people with your special grace, promises, and covenant love, but for the idolater and the wicked, the increase of his house will depart, and his goods will flow away in the day of your wrath. This is the portion from God for a wicked man, the heritage appointed to him by God. You have made the earth by your power. You have established the world by your wisdom and stretched out the heaven by your understanding. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. There is no greater inheritance than our relationship with you, O God, our portion. Therefore I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. For we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, your own special people, that we may proclaim the praises of our Lord, who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. We have a full share of the inheritance, which is you, Christ Jesus. There is no greater inheritance than a relationship with the Lord. Therefore, we will not move the ancient landmark nor enter the fields of the fatherless, for their Redeemer is mighty. He will plead their cause against us. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the place of his inheritance. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. In the name of him, who has been highly exalted and given the name that is above all names, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen.